Alleluia, Alleluia. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, left there and the place they were from, and they journeying through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question Jesus. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, Jesus began to ask them, What were you discussing along the way? And they remained silent, for they had been arguing about who was the greatest among them. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all, and the servant of all. Then taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever wishes to receive one of these childs, such as this, in my name, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you would think that the scriptures today are aware of tomorrow. Tomorrow being Ash Wednesday. The whole 40 days, a challenge to us to get closer to God during these 40 days. The traditional three pillars of Ash Wednesday are prayer, giving to the poor, almsgiving, and fasting. So as we're looking to that beginning tomorrow, as ashes are put on our heads as a reminder of the 40 days, we listen to today's readings, especially the wisdom literature of James. Very, very simple, very practical, very down to earth. And as we hear James in the first reading, beloved, where do the wars within you and the conflicts within you come from? Not from your passions, they make war with your members. You covet and do not possess, you kill and envy, but you do not obtain, and then you fight wars. And then you develop greed, and you have greed for what's not yours, and, and, the, and the list goes on. And James is trying to say, wait a minute, you know, no one's causing you to not be one with God. It's, it's your own members, it's your own self. We could use that as a community. We could use that as an individual. So conflict and envy among ourselves comes from what we see somebody else having or doing, and we get jealous. And then we have war within ourselves because I want what she wants, he wants what he wants, and so on. And James is saying, wait a minute, it comes from within you. It doesn't come from outside. Your eyes see what's out there. Your mouth talks about what's out there. But the real conflict, the real burden that we have so often with ourselves is within ourselves. We look out there and we compare. And that, that social comparison always gets us down. We're never good as the other one. The other one is always a little better than us. And we're always a little more envious than we should be. So James is putting this like in a very wise level down to earth. And he's saying, you know, you got to realize who we follow. 
and then we go to the gospel and we follow Jesus who's listening to his disciples they're talking amongst themselves while they're walking behind him he's the he's the teacher so he's walking ahead and they're following and they're learning from him and then when he gets into Capernaum he says um, what are we talking about and they got caught because we know they were talking about who's greatest among us so Jesus would come come to us and say what do you argue about what are you jealous about what do you envy why are you looking at that person and not looking at yourself and to get us to control ourselves he puts something forward that is probably a root of our faith he says, you know, you guys follow the Son of Man, but the Son of Man is going to be hung on the cross and be rejected. He will rise. But you've got to realize the one you're following is the Son of Man, and he's going to go through the trials that he's describing. So why shouldn't we, understanding ourselves, get closer to Christ during the season of Lent and understand the trials first ones that we put off ourselves we put in front of ourselves we set up our own destinations for sin and jealousy and greed we put them forward God doesn't place them there so we need to join Jesus during this season as we're preparing for Lent to understand his crucifixion crucified to the world and James says you know you love the world you don't love God you love God, then you don't love the world. You've got to choose. And I think we can appreciate the world. We can appreciate and love families and friends and, and our sisters and brothers throughout the world and not envy them, not be greedy over them. We can appreciate and love, but not love them above God. Why? Because God gives us a balance. Again, the, the, the wisdom literature associated with James gives us a balance as to how to understand our faith. Our faith's destination is the cross. Our faith's ultimate destination is the resurrection. So we've got to go through this period, and we're going to start tomorrow, of 40 days, of understanding the cross of Jesus in our lives. Do I carry the cross, or do I, do I experience the cross by acknowledging my jealousy acknowledging my greed acknowledging hate acknowledging prejudice yes 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 I begin the cross by looking into myself and realize that if I want to be united with Jesus Christ and his don't forget the cross for him is salvation and if I want to be united to Jesus Christ in his cross and ultimately resurrection and experience the presence of God then I have to take this journey inward I have to hold a mirror up to myself and really look into myself. And as James says, where do all the conflicts come from? Within. Where does greed and jealousy and prejudice come from? Within. Now, it's a good time, Lent, for us to go in, to take that journey inward, to start realizing that I want to walk close, more closely with Jesus Christ each day because he will balance my life he will give me the proper perspective he'll allow me to as imitating him love children and the elderly and the poor and those who are less than me for some reason and appreciate them love them as members of my family members of the church members of the world and ultimately appreciate God better in my life who comes to us through the challenges that we face every day. Where the conflicts come from within us. Look in the mirror and you'll find out where they come from and then turn and face Christ and give them to him because he's calling us to follow him to the resurrection. Understanding eternal and great fulfilling life.